people who live here at the building are still not allowed to live inside, and that is very frustrating for them. And we learned today a judge won't be revisiting that until July 26th as of now. Where are you going to go, though? Where am I going? I'm going to sleep in the car. Unless you got a backyard, I can tend out in. Frustration turning to anger for residents of the Seaview Lofts in Newport News. I would tell him to fix it, to fix this. He got somewhere to go. And excuse my language, but it's, it's insane. The property owner back in court today, but issues with the elevators are not fixed and residents still can't stay here. The building was condemned about two weeks ago for safety issues. The head of the company that owns the building, Ben Weinstein, did not appear in court once again today. Instead, it was his attorney and the property manager. It's his fault. He made us homeless. And now the city of Newport News has stopped paying for hotel rooms for some of the residents. The city manager says they've been paying for some since July 1st as a short-term safety net to allow the residents time to find other arrangements. But several tell us they have no other arrangements. We felt like we did everything right just for us to be homeless. The city, though, is still paying for hotels for eight households determined to be particularly vulnerable for an additional seven days. In court today, a judge scheduled another hearing for July 26th, which by then the property owner is hoping to have an elevator up to code. The owner's attorney and property manager continue to refuse to answer questions from reporters. Any updates on the building? I'm not going to be making any comment. What about after? Nope. Why not? Can you provide these people any housing? I mean, it sounds like people are going to be homeless. I'm not able to comment. So a tough day for some of the residents out here in dealing with all of this, and we'll keep you updated on the efforts to get the building back up to code. In Newport News, Brandon Ponton, News 3.